Hi, welcome to another episode of Talking with Docs. I'm Dr. Paul Zalzo. I'm Dr. Brian. Time for Journal Club. Journal Club. We have an article that is hot off the press. And I think actually literally it is hot off the press this time. September. September. This year? Mm -hmm. Okay, 2022. British Medical Journal. It's British, so you know it's good. It's all that's good. Uh, artificial sweeteners and risk of cardiovascular disease results from the prospective NutriNet Sante cohort. So I think what's interesting is that nowadays, with the access to the internet and research, and people are thinking about things that we've done for a long time, we're starting to go back and look at stuff that we've just done and accept it was okay, and we're like, is this really okay? Dogma. Like, yeah, like littering and, mm -hmm. you know, the fossil fuels or whatever, you can name the list is like a thousand long. It's so getting, now- It's getting philosophical, but- It's getting a little bit radical. Mm -hmm. So now, research is showing us that artificial sweeteners, they were designed originally to help people with weight loss and controlling their caloric consumption and maybe helping control their diabetes, but maybe they're not as good for us as we once thought. Okay, artificial sweeteners, how do they work? Well, uh, they bind to the receptors on your tongue yep. uh, that sugar binds to right. and gives you that sensation of sweetness. Right. Uh, the thing about artificial sweeteners is some way, and some of them work by the fact that they're very sweet, so you only need a very small amount, so you're yep. not getting a lot of calories. Other ones work in a way that your body doesn't really break them down, so they don't add any calories to your intake, but right. they still give you that sweet sensation. Right. Personally, I hate the taste, to throw that out there. Yeah. Um, um, that is how the artificial sweetener works. And we're talking about uh, aspartame, sucralose, ACE-K. ACE-K, yes. ACE sulfame potassium. ACE-K. That is the three that they looked at in this cohort. Yep. 100,000 people, just over 100,000 people followed for uh, about 12 years. Good study. Uh, the mean was about five years of follow-up. Yep. It just kept track of the foods that they, they ate, and from that they teased out how much artificial sweetener they were getting into their body. Right. And all ages, I think the median age is like 42 or That's something, true. so it's like young people and older people. Yeah, 18 and over. Yep. Um, and what did they find? So they found that they're not necessarily all good for you and can subtly increase your risk of? Heart attack, stroke, basically cerebrovascular disease. Yeah. Angina, need for catheterization, um, or strokes. Yeah, which is, I'm sure, very disappointing. People mm -hmm. hear like, listen, I'm trying to make a healthy choice. I'm mm -hmm. trying to consume less calories, trying to get my weight under control, trying to get my diabetes under control, and now I have a slightly higher risk. Yeah, so if your weight loss plan consists entirely of substituting sugar for artificial Diet sweeteners, pop. yeah, don't do it. Don't, no, don't do it. And there's actually other growing research too that there may be some other negative side effects, particularly the way that it affects your gut mm -hmm. and can lead to um, not being satisfied, so just continue to be hungry, and potentially even eating more calories, like paradoxically. There you go. So this article, British Medical Journal, yep. large cohort of people followed for a long time, suggested that artificial sweeteners increase your chance of cerebrovascular disease, coronary artery disease, heart attack, stroke. So. Right, it was, they didn't really provide a mechanism with which that mm -hmm. happened, right? They, they couldn't say. That's not a perfect paper. Yep. No studies are perfect. There's other compounding variables and things, but there's enough of a signal there to suggest that this should be looked at in more detail. It's food for thought. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's, that's a good one. <laughs> so if you like this video, please like it, subscribe to our channel. And remember, you are in charge of your own health. We'll see you next time.